fear factor, right? Was a yeah. Oh yeah, he was a he fear was factor guy. I think that's why it got a lot of attention is the way he he would do it. Yeah, I didn't even know that he was a comedian at first, or I knew he was the, from Fear Factor, and then I guess later on found out that he was a comedian as well. And I was like, oh shit! And then and he I does podcasts. Yeah, yeah, and I didn't know that he was also he was also an MMA fighter, right? Or, yeah, yeah, what? he trained in MMA, jujitsu. I'm pretty jiu-jitsu, sure, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. kickboxing yeah. tournaments and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I think um, he was trying to do that from maybe age 12 to age 20, and then somewhere around age 20, he got like hit in the head hard one time, and then said, "I I don't want to keep get hit. I need to do something else," you know. And I think he was doing comedy and fighting at the same time and then realized that if he went full-time comedy, he could probably make it. And he kind of needed to get away from the kickboxing anyways. So then went into that and then got a development deal for a sitcom about a baseball player. And then that got canceled. And then he made it on Fear Factor. And it was like over after that. Gosh. Yeah, he got lucky with that. He's one. Yeah. Need a, a couple breaks here and there. And then and, life is different. And that's what uh, I hear that um, Mark Cuban it says you only have to be lucky one time. Yeah. Mm-hmm, That's mm-hmm. it. I was just listening to Mark Cuban on the Theo Vaughn yeah. podcast. Bring it a little closer. Bring it a little closer. Yeah. yeah, we usually say like a fist away from the mic is super ideal, but your level sounded good back there, but maybe on here. Right there? This is probably good. Yeah, yeah. You're fine. That's good. Well, yeah, we we, uh, we just did a little Joe Rogan Wikipedia intro right there, but we're, we're jumping in. We <laughs> no. are, we're, we're live. We're not live, but we're recording. Okay, cool. We're in with uh, Mr. Victor from Nutridrip IV here at... Bonham also in our same building as well. Mr. Victor, nice to meet you. Thank you nice for joining you. us. Nice Appreciate you. you. Thank you, Justin. Thank yeah, you, Matthew. Man. Absolute pleasure to have you on, man. And it's yeah. MJ38, right? That's yeah, that's it. us. That's it. Productions. Yes, sir. Cool. Yeah, it's crazy. It's or just kind of like how we met was sort of a random term events as well. <laughs> just kind of in passing, literally at the door, like leaving and coming from. Or yeah, going I was, to. I was uh, on my way to uh, go see a, one of our clients to give him an IV drip. Because remember, I had my IV pole and my, yeah, yeah. my backpack with the drip and everything in there. And I opened the door. You guys are coming in. Uh, you and the other two gentlemen, yeah, yeah, Ace, Ace, right? Ace yeah. and Nick, Ace and Nick, Ace yeah. one and Nick. It's a great memory. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> and uh, and yeah. then, uh, I mean, I left when did, did my drip for about an hour and a half. When I came back, you were leaving. I was yep. coming in. like, okay, we got to meet. Them. It was perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <it's laughs> what do you guys do here? How's it going? <laughs> yeah. You want to do a podcast? What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Y'all look like y'all medical or nothing like that. <laughs> no. Y'all look very casual and relaxed. So yeah, it was pretty interesting. Yeah, that was and. Um, Ace, AC, uh, I'm sorry, Ace, right? Ace. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, he said, yeah, we're music producers. Uh, we came brought you a, 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 some, a song for Ivy yeah, Nutri. Yeah, a jingle? Something. You need a little a jingle. jingle or something? Jingle, yeah. <laughs> so you know what? Yeah. yeah I, well, I'm going to con- contact them for sure on that. Drip, drip. Nice. Come on. <laughs> that guy's a drip. Dripping like it, whatever. Some right? amigos or something. Yeah. <laughs> we're dripping. That's Keep awesome. on dripping, baby. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah so. so I guess a like, nice segue kind of into, so yeah, I, we mentioned a little bit earlier the Nutri-Drip IV. So kind of just give us a brief explanation of kind of what that what the company is. So company the company name is IV Nutri-Drip. Okay. And uh, basically it's nutrition through the IV. Got it. So... Uh, there's a lot of ways you can get vitamins into your body uh, through foods, right? Of course. But the reality is that the foods that we are eating right now are they have a lot they contain a lot of preservatives. Hundred percent. And so, and uh, the, the the beans that we're eating now, everything that we're eating is 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 not does not have the right value of nutrition that we need, right? Mm-hmm. And even when you eat it, your body is not able to absorb a hundred percent of all the things you eat. And um, so, unfortunately, if you don't have good eating habits and a good balance on what you're eating, you might be, be missing out on some of the minerals and nutrients that your body needs to feel well. Mm-hmm. So, IV NutriDip is there to give your body uh, the the vitamins through the IV, and that is the best way to absorb your vitamins. Right now, God never intended for us to be on a drip all day long, right? Mm. But this is a good way for your body to receive the nutrients that it needs, and then you can feel the difference. As to what it would be if you just follow a nice, disciplined diet to include all the minerals and proteins and and vitamins that your body needs, and this gives you gives you the experience of what it is to feel alive. So that's what we say. We are, uh, one of our as a matter of fact, it's on our our thing right here under our, our name. It says "Feel Alive," mm. uh, because you will within twenty four hours your body will absorb all these nutrients, and your health your cells are going to become healthier, stronger. Your immune system is going to be boosted, and so you're going to feel that difference um, within 24 hours. I mean, you're going to have more energy, mental clarity. If you were feeling a little sick, you're going to feel that your sickness is going away because your immune system has been boosted up 
It's just like if you have an army, right? And you're fighting. If if you don't feed the army, you don't give the 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 army that you have hydration. Hydration, they're gonna become weakened and they're gonna lose the battle. Mm -hmm. So your body has an army. It's called the immune system. Yeah. And if you don't feed the the immune system what it needs, it's gonna be weakened. So any little germ that comes by your way is gonna make you sick. Yeah. Like I have for the last two years, I've only gone sick one time, and recently it was with COVID. It was about two months ago. But literally, I isolated myself, but my symptoms was a little sneeze, uh, maybe a little cough, and that was about it. I didn't have no fevers, no headaches, no body aches, none of that. So had your sense of smell and all that? The sense of smell, <laughs> taste, all that, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but I st just for protection of others, I isolated myself in a hotel uh, for about five days, and then wow. I was good. Mm -hmm. uh, this because I'm, I'm an RN, you know, as a professional. Okay, yeah, and, so you're and so I'm very conscious about making sure I don't transmit any of these germs. I mean... Of course, my staff didn't want me there either. So, because mm -hmm. <laughs> my staff like, oh, get out of here! Don't you can go home. You can stay go home. home. You can go pause. You can stay home. Yeah. It's a vacation. For it's you. a vacation for you, sir. Yeah. It's a vacation for us. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. We don't have to hear you bossing. <laughs> yeah. that's, uh, that's crazy. And you yeah. said that the the so the the drip, like I guess the drip procedure. That's more. I guess your your body's able to more easily digest those and utilize those nutrients it and absorbs, vitamins. It absorbs right. It's, it's, it's uh, straight through your right into the bloodstream. Right, Blood, bloodstream. So your body is able to absorb. 100% of all those vitamins and take it to where it needs to go. Yeah, so I guess it like skips the entire digestive tract. It just goes Correct. right into the, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, because really when you eat food, I mean, it go, it's going to go into your circulatory system, but mm -hmm. it has to, you got to break it in your mouth and then as it goes into your stomach, there's acids and fluids that will dissolve some of the food. Break it down. Break it down and then it goes all through the small intestine, et cetera, to continue to absorb some of the nutrients, but it doesn't have enough time to absorb all of it. Yeah. Especially if you go to a buffet, I mean, imagine how much food you have, right? <laughs> that's a lot of food. And for the body's like, oh, okay, I'm just going to get a little bit of this. And that's it. You, everything is goes goes to waste, right? Yeah, so, right. So, so, so I guess, I guess, and also, so what are some of the, or you were mentioning some of the, or the inability that we, are, some of our foods nowadays, I'm sure, all the preservatives, GMOs and all that stuff, it makes it a little bit harder to receive all the nutrients. What are some of the nutrients that you think or vitamins that we are missing, like the most, like the, the biggest ones that are the most important that we don't really get? So I mean, um, the, I want to tell you the, the drips. The drips that we have contain vitamin C. Okay. Okay. Vitamin C is very important in energy, and also to boost your immune system. We also have by the B complex. So the B complex is a lot of um, uh, nutrients also that your body needs. So it's B one, two, three, five, and six. Uh, uh, vitamin B twelve. Mm -hmm. uh, all of these vitamins are essential for for healing, for immune system, for wellness. Uh, the mint, some some minerals that your body needs as well. You we don't need we don't necessarily get them. Um, there's studies that show that a lot of athletes that are working out too much out there they excrete some of, some of these minerals and they get sick uh, sooner because their bodies uh, don't have those minerals and they start getting chronic illnesses. Hmm. So they die younger at 55, 60, 65. Instead of leaving, you know, somebody that doesn't never work out, they might live up to 90 mm -hmm. wow. because they never excreted any of this minerals, right? Yeah, it's like revving your car all the way to your max yeah, RPMs. exactly. Yeah. Wear and tear your engine wear and tear, a little bit. So you got to make sure that you maintain that that body you have. Mm -hmm. um, the other ones, we we also have a really good one. It's called glutathione. Okay. And it's a powerful antioxidant. And glutathione uh, gets rid of what is called free radicals. So free radicals are basically... Um, uh, are found in preservatives or when you breathe stuff, when you put something on your on your on your body, any lotion, you mm -hmm. might have some chemicals that go inside, mm. and and they'll they're gonna they're gonna disrupt the harmony of your cells. So your harmony, your cells have to have a natural balance of energy, right? Yeah. So once that free radical comes in, it disrupts that energy, mm. and it makes the the cell weaken. So now you feel fatigued, tired, you have a headache. You can't focus because your cells are depleted from from with these free radicals. So what glutathione does, it comes in and gets rid of these free radicals, right? So I always say, like, imagine if you were, like, at a concert, right? Everybody's having a good time, right? Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, there's a fight that breaks up or breaks out. Everybody, there's a fight. So that harmony that existed is no longer there until the police get there and they get rid of these people that were causing the fight. Now the harmony is restored. So glutathione is like the police or the security guards that come inside your body and gets rid of all these free radicals. Hmm. Now your body is is in harmony again, and now you're in you're you have mental clarity. You're if you were feeling sick, now you don't have that sickness anymore. It's also an anti-inflammatory. So if you had any uh, pain, 
uh, or inflam inflammation responses in your body, it also help with that. So we're not there to cure any disease because we're not doctors and mm -hmm. there's it's not a medical treatment. It's more of aesthetic, but the benefits are there when you take vitamins. Yeah, definitely. 100%. I'm sure. Yeah, and you're saying you had a, a medical background as well, or you're an RN? I'm an RN. I'm a registered nurse. I'm a vascular access specialist. So basically, we're the uh, lead leaders in the industry in Texas uh, when it comes to IV sticks or infusion therapy. So we have our vascular access board certification from the Association for Vascular Access, and we also have our certified registered nurse infusion credential by the Infusion Nurses Society. So we're the only company that, that is owned by an RN that has those credentials in probably the whole United States. Wow. wow. So this is crazy, right? We mm. also have the advanced technologies of using ultrasound because a lot of people fear the needle. I'm one of them. I'll mm. be honest. <laughs> and, and, and so what I had to do is think for the patient, right, or for the client more, more than patient. Mm. And, and so we, we use our technologies. We have ultrasound technology, which actually we can put the probe on the skin and we on the iPad, we can see the vein. So we don't have to blindly stick anybody mm. that we can't see a vein. So a lot of a lot of facilities don't have that. Actually, probably none have that. Uh, so we have that that privilege and that honor and that ad, ad, uh, advanced technology yeah. so we can see that vein. So um, that way we can just see the needle going inside the vein directly. It's pretty cool. I mean, hopefully you get a chance to yeah, you see this. That sounds awesome. It's you ultrasound? Know? It's ultrasound. Guided. Is this technology yeah. that every... Hospitals should have eventually? So the hospitals do have this technology. Okay. A lot of them do, not sense. all of them. But in aesthetics, uh, which is uh, not considered medical, yeah. they probably don't have this technology. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, there's infrared technology. They might have that, which is where you put like a red light on over the skin, and they can see a trace of where the veins are. But it still doesn't tell you how deep the vein is and all those mm -hmm. things. And the, the clinician though. still needs to know how to stick. So... Um, with our with our technologies and our skills and experience, I've been an RN for over 31 years. I've been starting IVs for 31 years. I've had wow, over 70,000 IVs that I've started in my life. So we are pretty good. You're almost guaranteed 99.9% .9 of the time. Uh, as a matter of fact, we have never had a client for the whole year and a few months that we don't think that we say, sorry, we couldn't do your your IV. Mm. So you're guaranteed because we have the technologies. Yeah. So that's a cool thing that separates us from everybody else. So. Definitely. That's super cool. Yeah, I'm sure I'm... I'm the always drawn blood or the needle is definitely always a, and just like the if you don't have the the the, the skin or the the vein that or like the vascularity, it's gonna be kind of hard. I've seen people come back with multiple like in, like five or six like sticks and pricks. Yeah, no, I mean, and that's really why why people are reluctant to go through this route, right? Because like mm -hmm. like no, I don't want to be sick. Last time I, I was at the doctor's office and they stopped me six times. Yeah. So all of us have the fear of the needle. I mean, for at one point or another, uh, I for sure um, have the fear of the needle. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's blessed now. And I actually also decided to buy a spray, a special spray. It's called Pain and Ease. Uh, and and so basically, you spray it. You spray that spray it's sterile, mm -hmm. and before you stick, so it'll it's a, it cools the skin, so that way you don't feel the stick. You know? Yeah, it's like a little mint, like mild, like anesthesia a or little, not anesthesia, but yeah, it's a cool therapy. Numbing. It numbs because it, it kind of cools the skin. Yeah, yeah. So I, I make sure whenever I my nurse is gonna stick me, I spray <laughs> that thing there because I don't want to feel any pain. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, I mean, but realistically, I had been uh, needle phobic for the longest time. It started when I was seven years old. Uh, I was in Carrizo Springs at the hospital, and I had broken my arm. I thought I was Superman, and I figured that I couldn't fly, so I broke my arm. Oh no! <laughs> and then, <laughs> so they uh, they they got me there, and I remember this nurse or medical doctor, whoever it was, had this big, I mean, to me, I mean, when you're a little kid, seven years old, you the needle looks this big, right? Like a sword. It could have been this small, but <laughs> to me, it was like, it looks like a sword, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, so they uh, they had to grab me, uh, two, three, five people, I don't know, and suck my butt. Ugh. And from that point on, needle phobic. For yeah, life, <laughs> that's you know? pretty traumatic. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> I have to remember. That'll do it. Yeah, so in fact, I was at a restaurant um, just about an hour ago, and and the late the the, the owners are from Carrizo Springs, hmm. uh, and 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 Crystal City, and I was born in Crystal City, so then that flashback came back, like oh, I remember Carrizo, <laughs> I know where, <laughs> I got something associated with that, it made me who I am, Carrizo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's cool. So then, I guess how uh, how long has Nutridrip been in business, and I guess how did it kind of start up, or how'd you get so? So we have about a year and three months that we started the, the company, and you know. The reality is that we are we own another company. It's called Picks by Vic, 
uh, vascular infusion consultants. And what we do is that we're spe- IV specialists, vascular access specialists, and we place PICC line catheters in patients. I don't know if anybody knows what a PICC line is, but it's an acronym that stands for peripherally inserted central catheter. This is a catheter that's going to be started in the arm and it's going to go all the way towards the heart. Now, granted, this is for PICs by VIC. Mm. Don't confuse this Sp- with like, IV NutriDip. No. Gotcha, gotcha. So we're specialists in, in those advanced procedures. We p- put uh, central line catheters in patients. Um, so because I already had that business and established credibility, if you Google Victor Valdez IV, you're going to find me on Google. Picks by Vic, you're going to find us as, as one of the top companies in Texas. And even in the United States on with our academy, we have a vascular access academy. We train nurses from all over the United States. They come and train here with us in the same building that you guys are at, the bottom building, uh, 4400 South Piedras Drive. Ah. Uh, <laughs> that's, 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 that's the uh, headquarters. Yeah, headquarters. And uh, so they come here and they train with us. They pay us a lot of money to to train. So because we already have this background, you know, 30 plus years of an RN, and I saw that this is an opportunity for us to help um, people that are out there that need a better uh, type of care when it comes to IV drips. Uh, I want to make sure that our company follows all the standards of practice that exist and making sure that we protect the client 100%. So not only from hand washing, wearing gloves, using sterile gloves when we actually place the IVs. We take a, uh, we 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 put attention to detail, so that way you're safe 100. Mm-hmm. percent uh, Even when we mix our vitamins, we have a vent hood, uh, which by regulatory uh, offices that are out there demand that you have that if you're going to be mixing more than two uh, vitamins, right? So we have that. We bought that. It was almost four thousand bucks. Mm. But we want to make sure that you feel comfortable that you're going to be well taken care of that we're not going to introduce any germs into your venous system. So that's why we wear a mask when we we do the mixing of the drips. We wear sterile gloves before we poke you. Any other place, they probably forget about changing their gloves. I mean, it's just that they're not trained. It's not their fault. I'm not saying it's their fault. It's just that they don't have the level of training that we have. Mm. And because I, I held two of the highest credentials that exist in infusion therapy, I'm held to those standards, and I got to follow those standards, and I am, I follow them religiously and and with an with honor right because at the yeah. end of the day the the most important person there is you the client want to make sure that you get your drip and you can go tell others about it hey you know what the experience was phenomenal you know from the top from the manager Rosie uh to Angie actually when she greets you at the door to Rosie when she uh takes your paperwork from Mihili or Valerie or any of the other nurses that we have Bianca or uh Nicole or anybody else that we have that can help us uh, or myself, you know, that they mm-hmm. had an, an excellent experience. You know, they didn't they didn't have any pain, and we have a lot of testimonials of clients that come in, and they 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 were the ones that tell you how their experience was, and mm-hmm. we're just honored, and we're we're all, we're all uh, customer uh, focused. I worked at McDonald's when I was uh, seventeen years old, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, customers is always going to be right, and that was my mindset: always treating the customer the way you want to be treated. You yeah. know, so McDonald's really instilled a lot of a lot of values in me. Back when I was seventeen, I became a manager within eight months. Wow, nice. that's because I wanted to be the best. I mean, I was I wanted to be always the best at everything, mm-hmm. and even at McDonald's, I actually have a black for the best grill of the year. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Whip slinging the burgers. Yeah, I I used to flip Dude, burgers. Awesome. Yes, sir. That's awesome. We're, like, we're kindred spirits, man. We uh yeah. spent six years, seven years in the restaurant industry. We actually just left the restaurant industry to do this full time. Cool. So we have that mentality of you know hospitality, customer service, guest comes first. You know, clients always right. Um, the answer is yes, you know, stuff like that. But we also were athletes in high school and um, in college. We lifted weights like crazy, kind of integrated that into our personality, that real competitive desire to be this best version of ourselves. And I think I, I feel that when you're talking to that, you have that kind of blend of, you know, character. And uh, I think it's so crazy that we ran into each other the way we did just because, you know, we, we were discussing off camera the acting and the producing and the, you know, all the things that you're interested and invested in that we also care about. It's kind of wild, man. Yeah. Uh, the, the, a lot of people uh, ask me, Victor, how, how do you have time for all this, right? Or, uh, how, I mean, because they'll see me on a, How do you do it? How do you do it, right? <laughs> I mean, the thing is, is you know, I, I come from a very humble background. Uh, my parents n- never finished elementary school. Wow. Uh, third grade level elementary and fourth grade level elementary. None of my family from my dad's or my mom's ever finished high school. 
so uh, very humbled. My house is almost literally almost the size of this room that we're in. <laughs> Maybe a little bit bigger. That's about it. And mm. no bathroom in the built in, oh, the, wow. in the home. It has to be outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I come from that kind of humbling beginnings, and um, uh, and then unfortunately my mom and dad separated when I was nine, and and so now I'm raised by a single mom until mm. I was uh, seventeen, eighteen, and then. Then I moved out of Eagle Pass, Texas, where I'm from, and so I mean, I, 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 I have nothing to lose. Like I already come from from that environment, mm -hmm. and and I got I got to give uh, honor to my mom. Uh, she passed away almost two years ago, but I never felt. I always tell people I never felt that I, that I was poor because her love covered all that poverty, right? Mm -hmm. And but when I went back to my hometown, La Prior, Texas. And I looked at the house that I lived in, like, oh my God, I was poor. <laughs> like, that's when I realized that I was poor. Wait a second, we were poor. Wait a minute, we were poor. Oh, no one told me. <laughs> no wonder we didn't have a car. No wonder we had no TV. No wonder we had no telephone system. No wonder we AC. we had a bathroom outside. Like, I thought that was everybody had a bathroom outside. Yeah. You know? We got love, baby. Yeah. We got love. Yeah, it sounds like a great so, And I remember watching TV from the neighbors through the screen, like a little, little screen that the Incredible Hawk. I remember, like, uh -huh. there was no color TV back then. You know, uh, but I remember this guy converting into the Incredible Hog. You know, mm -hmm. but uh, you know. So when anyway, so you you go through these moments and and you realize, you know what? This is a life God gave you, and you got to take the most, do the most with it, right? Mm -hmm. And take advantage of it. So if you have an opportunity to do business, to do this or that, go for it. Don't be afraid. I uh, recently, about a month ago, I, I did a video to help somebody out there, right? And I remember coming out of my house and I saw a little spider pshew, right in front of me. Like, oh, so I grabbed it and killed it, right? Mm -hmm. And then, then I got in my car, another little spider, pshew, I killed it, right? And then all of a sudden I get a revelation from God that says, what you, what you fear, you're going to kill. I'm like, what? And then I started thinking, sometimes we fear a business. Sometimes we fear going into college. Taking the risk. Sometimes we fear... Opening up by podcast. Yeah. Sometimes we fear, and then because because we fear it, we kill it. And now uh, you have to. You gotta. You gotta go. You gotta take fear with you, and go with it, and, until you until you develop that confidence that you need, so that you can say, you know, fear was was only there to challenge me to see if I really wanted it, right? Yeah. yeah. And so so that's why I, I mean I'm not afraid of anything. So that's why, eleven years ago. I started my career in acting, uh, doing commercials. Um, I did uh, several commercials, H-E-B, El Carne Sasso. It's on YouTube. I'll show it to you later. That's badass. That's <laughs> yeah. awesome, dude. Yeah. Um, and I did uh, Sonic commercial. I did direct insurance commercial, uh, American State Bank commercial. Uh, there was some, uh, the Blood and Tissue. I did a Blood and Tissue commercial. There, there were several commercials that I did, and they paid me. That was the good thing, too. That's cool. And um, and then uh, I got blessed by to know a lot of people that are in the film industry here locally, and they've allowed me to participate in their movies. So I'm not afraid of the camera. Uh, I'm 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 in it. I'm on I'm on game. Once yeah yeah. Once uh, they tell me the role that I'm gonna play, sometimes I play the role of a of a. Uh, the, the, we we did a movie with strong thing, strong foundation films. It was called Run, and Steve Baldwin was in that movie. <clears throat> and that one, that one, I played the role of a, a guy that was buying uh, girls. It was a, it was a sex trafficking oh, movie. Wow. Yeah, wow. so one of those bad guys is buying all these girls. You know what I mean? Wow. Like, yeah. So that I played that role. You know, like channel that energy. Or <laughs> yeah. What? Well, you have to you have to uh, you know put yourself in that role. Right? Yeah. How how would you be if you were that person? Who right? is that person? Yeah. Yeah. So that's how you want to be. I mean, I recently played a role of a of a, a Jewish man. And I'm all dressed up, and I'll show you some pictures later. Mm, wow. I'm all dressed up, like way back in the day, Jesus times, and 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 then you have to change your accent, you yeah. know. Uh, and then so you you uh, you learn that the in Jewish you, you the accents are I A E O U. So instead of saying ham hamburger, you say hamburger. Mm. You know, you you have to change your accent a little bit. So you kind of learn a little bit of those things. Yeah, I'm not perfect because I'm not an expert yet on that. But you know, so yeah, that I mean, I, great. I I enjoy I enjoy that and. And like I said earlier, off camera, we we mentioned that in five years I want to be full time actor. Yeah, one hundred percent. I want, I have it in my mind. I have it in my heart, in my mind, and I'm gonna do that. I mean, it's just, just I know it happen, bro. It's gonna happen. I just I'll be know. there. We'll be there with you, bro. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, uh, so, Seriously. like, like for instance, today, right? I visit with my my friend Maureen, 
Preciado and Louis, thank you for, for lunch, guys. Uh, and then she's like, Vic, do you have one of these trucks? Wow. I go, no, Marine. I just, it's in here. It's in here. <laughs> Soon it'll come. Yes. But I got to profess it that it's going to, I got to manifest that yeah. it's going to be there. Yeah. yeah. So we use our regular cars to go to do these mobile trips. But in the future, we'll have this van. Yes. I believe 100%. You. Believe it 100%. Yeah. And that's how you have to live life. You have to live life believing that it's there without you even seeing it yet. Mm -hmm. And you act on it as if it's already there. That's what faith is, right? If you guys study the Bible, it's what faith is. Believe what you can't see. Believe mm -hmm. what you cannot see and as mm -hmm. if it's already there, right? And that's yeah. how you, I live my life. Uh, my friend um, Rosie, last night, she, I, uh, we had a business discussion here. And she said, why are you so happy? Like, I go, <laughs> I tell her, I have 10 reasons why to be sad. But I choose to be happy. Mm -hmm. It's a decision. Yes. So, the, so I mean, again... It's just the way my mom brought me up, the way I was brought up in my faith and beliefs, and my experiences in life that has helped me to be where I'm at right now. That way I don't have any fear. I'm going to become an actor. I'm going to be the best at everything that I do. Yeah. So that's that's my my motto or motto. Have you yeah, guys, have you yeah. Seen? I love that. Because, yeah, I, I come from the same cloth or, like, the same – like, both of us do as well. Like, we come from the same ideology of trying to manifest and trying to, like, express your intention – to the universe or to God and to, to, to know before it's even here that it's on the way that's already here. I guess, do you have a, it's a two part question. I guess, how did that come into your matrix? I guess you kind of mentioned a little bit earlier or mentioned a little bit about it, but like maybe your, your upbringing, but were there anyone, like anyone specifically that kind of brought you on or turned you into that like uh, philosophy about like manifesting or was it like more like your parents or your mom? Um, I, I, I think my mom always instilled in us that we can do whatever we we, intent, we um, apply ourselves to do. Yeah. Um, she taught me that even though uh, we were in a very, very poverty level, I mean, her salary was $150 a week. Oof. But she saved money so that we could have the Nikes that we wanted. So we never uh, dressed. Nothing wrong with it. Like from Goodwill, or any other, we always address name brands, and and I didn't know that Mama didn't have any money, but she had to work three, four, five weeks for her to be able to buy some shoes. Yeah, but you know, she believed that she could do it. She believed that she could make our dreams a reality, right? And thank God that before we moved out of La Prior, she saved enough money to build us, me and my brother Eugene. A little room where a bathroom was there finally. Hey, let's so, go. And a shower and everything was there. Mm -hmm. So it's cool. So I mean, I think uh that has to do a lot with it. But also, you know, I became a Christian when I was 20 years old. And then from that point on, I mean, uh, God has been so good to me and proven to me that He's real, mm -hmm. that I have no reason to doubt that He exists. From the moment that I got converted into Christianity, Him himself coming down to me touching my heart, my life, my body, and knowing that it was nobody else touching me, it was him, his warmth and, and power coming over me and changing somebody that was on the wrong path. Because unfortunately, when I was a younger kid, I was in, in, the, in the wrong crowd, gangs and violence and stealing and doing all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But I came to him, he changed all that. Now I'm in college. Now I'm learning piano. Now I'm learning how to sing. Now I'm learning things that I didn't know before. Wow. And And... And I'm going to just give you a couple of examples of, of his faithfulness to me. Please. And, and I was still uh, going to college, and my car went out of gas. I didn't have any money, enough money, right? Mm -hmm. You're like driving working. to college? I was driving to college mm -hmm. in my little Pontiac, uh, Pontiac <laughs> car, and then the, the gas is done. Like, oh, and um, I was on I-10, and then I had to go up the hill like, Lord, please just help me go up the hill because I'm— <laughs> I don't want to push this car. I up this. Yeah, no, how am I going to do it? <laughs> so no then, way. So I'm able to go all the way up, and then I was able to uh, uh, go to the shoulder area, but I'm on top of the of the I-10. I mean, Culebra I-10 area. Think about it. You're there. Mm. And I'm like, oh, where, how, I don't have a gas tank. I'm afraid of walking in this freeway Yeah. within a minute to two minutes from a distance, like maybe 10 to 15 car distance. I don't know why. There's a truck that stopped. And there's a man coming to my way. And then I was like, okay, I don't know. And then I saw he had a, a container, right? Like mm -hmm. a big container. And they said, hey, so so you ran out of gas? They go, yeah. How do you know? Like, no, I, I, I don't know. I think he said, 
Well, he didn't say this yet. There's no, well, here's some gas. Mm -hmm. And so I put the gas and man, thank you so much. And then once I, I, I finished putting the gas, I turned the container over and I give it to him. Right. And, and when I saw the container, it had the dove of the Holy Spirit mm. and it said their true spirit. And I'm like, oh my God. And Whoa. he says, I was, thank you very much, sir. I really appreciate it. Well, you're one of ours. You're one of ours. That's what he said. And then he disappeared, vanished. I mean, not that disappeared, but <laughs> he just <laughs> poof. <laughs> <laughs> that would be that would have been amazing. Right? <laughs> that was an angel for real. Yeah, that was an angel for real. Right? <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, he uh, then you know just uh, went his way. I can't remember his face. Mm -hmm. Was it like an older gentleman, younger guy? I know he was a man. Mm -hmm. I know he was kind of dressed like I, I don't even remember if he was. I think he was Mexican. Mm -hmm. He looked Mexican. He could have been something else, but uh -huh. uh, but he was. I can't remember his face. If I, not I, maybe I, ne I never saw his face. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but it was kind of weird. Yeah. Testify. Yeah. But nevertheless, that was a really a, a moment for me, for my faith to grow. Big right. Time. And then the next, within that same month, I was on 35 going before Durango. Way back it was Durango instead of Cesar Chavez. My car stopped. The radiator or the one of the hoses of the radiator had busted. And so now... Uh, smoke all over the place, and mm -hmm. I'm stopped there at the at the at the shoulder area. All the cars are going, just driving, zoom, 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 zoom. Nobody was stopping. I'm like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? Like, I'm stuck right here. I gotta go to college. I mean, I gotta be there to take an exam. Mm -hmm. And all of it, I mean, all the cars were were going, going, going. And all of a sudden, I see these cars slowly started to slow down. And and, and I'm gonna paint this picture right here so you can really see it. I don't know if you can see it in camera or not, but you know, this is me here. And then as this car, as the cars are going and then it comes to a complete stop, there's another car right here. When I look to my left, it was my brother, Eugene. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> what? My brother, my only brother was there. Hey, hey, come on, help me, dude. <laughs> yes. That's wild. How, what are the chances? Yeah, I was going to say, what, what was he doing? What was he like? He was going, I don't know where he was going, but he was going somewhere, right? <laughs> yeah. Can't remember. It was uh, almost 30 years ago. Oh, my gosh. And uh, Or more. And then he was able to stop in front of me, and then he had the tools that I needed to fix my car, and I was able to make it on time for, for college. What the heck? So go what? figure that out. I mean, and I've had so many of those experiences. I'll share one last one with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is going to make your... Your hair, Give me goosebumps. Goosebumps and all, right? <laughs> I was driving from Austin, 2 o'clock in the morning, already exited 35 on 2604. I was passing Nogalitos. I was on the fast lane. It was drizzling, foggy. There was nobody there. I mean, no, nobody at that time, I guess, because it was not a good weather day. Um, and then I was on this fast lane, and I felt in my heart something tell me, move on to the slower lane, right? Move to the right lane. Mm -hmm. And so I did. Like, I literally moved to this lane, and not even a minute went by when I saw an 18-wheeler had skidded down, and their bed was right on the lane that I was in. Whoa. In other words, had I not obeyed that feeling of going this way, I would have gone straight into it. Oh, yeah, or at the very least had to, like, try to swerve no, no, out I, of I it. No, I had no, it's because there was no visibility. <laughs> oh, you couldn't see it? No. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, yeah, it was, it was foggy, all... like, you yeah, could only yeah. see, like, from here to the wall. Mm. That's the visibility that I had. I would have not had enough chance to no do nothing. No time at all to stop. I would have just, boom, go straight Dude. in there at 65 miles an hour. What's that miles feeling? Out. What's that yeah. feeling in your heart you felt? Mm -hmm. I, when I saw that, I was like, I mean, my heart stopped. I'm almost just died just from that. <laughs> yeah. No, but when you said that something in your heart told you to switch lanes, was it a voice in your head? Was it an intuition? Was it an intimation? What what happens there? Uh, I mean, it was just like like something telling you move, but you it's not an audible voice. Of course, right. yeah. It was just something in you, and you're like, hey, go go to this next lane. Like it was kind of weird, you know. I mean, I know it's God or the angel or something, right? Yeah. That was telling me, "Hey, move," because you're gonna die. If you don't. There's some, yeah, some communicative force. Some something is communicating. Not, yeah, not yeah. the way we're talking. Yeah, but no, no, information no. exchange. Yeah, but I, I mean, so anyway, so all that has and, and so many other experiences. I, I mean, I, I have a hundred moments that I can share yeah. with you guys, and that's why my faith is very strong. So I know that God is alive. I know that God exists. I know that no matter what life brings 
unto me that I'm going to be able to be a survivor. I mean, Jesus said, in this world, you should have tribulation, but be of cheer that I have overcome. So I have that mindset that nothing that can come my way is going to put me down. You know, I, whenever I, I feel like I'm going through a depression period, like I'm going to, I start writing mentally or writing on a, on a piece of paper or on the computer or phone, uh, what I do have. Okay. Can I see? Yeah, I can. Okay, good. Can I taste? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can I chew? Yeah. Um, can I uh, feel? Yes. Can I talk? Yes. Can I hear? Yes. Can I walk? Yes. Mm-hmm. Can I move my hands? Yes. Can I go to the bathroom regularly? Yes. Yeah. By yourself. That's nice. That's nice. And uh, the thing is that you got to understand that we sometimes take advantage. I mean, take, take it for granted. Yeah. The blessings that we already have. Sometimes we want so much things out there. Your health is the most important thing. I was listening to someone's lungs because uh, we do listen to the, our client's lungs and make sure that everything's good, blood pressure and all that. And, and I, I said, when I listened to his lungs, I said, you know what? People pay thousands of dollars per day to be, to be able to have your lungs. And this reality because people pay thousands of dollars to, in the hospital for them to be filled with oxygen and all have all those machines do all the work for them. Mm. You know, that's just a reality. It is. And people have heart machines that are pumping their heart. People have, you know, medications that are going in through their bodies to make maintain them alive, mm-hmm. you know, they and the bills are astro- astronomical, you know, yeah. millions in, if they're there for a month or, or two months. So you got to be grateful for what you have, and so that's my mindset, that's my belief, and you know, so and I'm not ashamed of it. I I believe 100. percent Everybody has beliefs out there, but you know, that those are my beliefs. Yeah, thank you for sharing that, man. Yeah, because I'm we're we're definitely in the in the same vein because I have. I'll have nothing on the top of my head, but I'm sure if I just thought for a little bit, like I, I could come up with some stories as well. Like I've got one same on stories. top of my head. Yeah. Like I can remember maybe six months ago, I was getting out of work on 410, um, just past Blanco. So I'm getting on 410 to head towards 281 and it's raining. Not bad enough that I can't see, but it's it's coming down. And I get on the access road and I'm coming up the acceleration ramp. And then as I'm merging onto the highway, I need to accelerate to go from like 55 to 70, right? But I'm also excited. I just got out of work. I'm going to go change, go see my girlfriend. I've got the music going. And I hit a pothole while I'm on the acceleration ramp while it's raining. And my car bounces and starts to hydroplane. Oh, Lord. So I'm hydroplaning into the middle lane just a little bit at first, but I overcorrect. And then I start to hydroplane towards what would be falling off the highway because it's coming up on a hill. So then I whip it back around and it starts sliding the other way. And now I'm coming across two or three lanes of traffic oh and God. I try to get it to stop. And then the end starts going, the, the they call it the death shakes. The back of my car is just going. Oh my God. And then I go skid out towards the wall one more time. And in my own heart, you know, I've already thought like I was going to die when I was going off the hill. I'm feeling like all of this, you know, I, I this might be my last moment feeling. And I go against the wall, so I feel safe. Like, okay, I'm just going to wreck my car. That's the worst thing that's yeah, going to happen I'll, I'll right now. I'll just crash. I'm yeah. not going to die. Thank God. Because the yeah. moment I was going to go off that hill for a second. And then as I'm about to hit the wall, I just, I just in my own heart, I just say, Christ be with me. Like, But I kind of like proclaim it. Like, I, It's just like almost like a scream or a yell or a plead. And I just go, Christ be with me. And then my car just stops right like an inch away from the wall just stops all momentum everything stops wow and i don't hit the wall and then i look in the rear view mirror and it's just people had stopped every lane of traffic had stopped while my car was just going across like this because they thought i was going to crash and wreck for sure and then i pull back on just the highway and drive home and like a normal day at the office (laughs) that's amazing (laughs) i tried to call my dad he didn't answer i was like okay i guess this is normal day at the office let's go that's amazing but as soon as i you know invoked the name of jesus christ uh, you know i guess maybe my cars it was more slick on the highway and less slick on the shoulder so maybe my tires caught that less slick part right before i hit the median but i'm telling you i i i I asked jesus to enter and help me and save me and he did it was just amazing. like that. You know, and the thing is that, you know, a lot of things happen right in life. Sometimes we don't understand why they happen. And sometimes we want to fight God on certain things. Like I remember mm, about a year ago, I was exiting a facility that we actually go in and place IVs at. And I was at, they, they do have their own light right there. So you can take a left or a right, right? Or actually a left. And I normally take a left. Well, I was there a minute and then two minutes. And, you know, sometimes we're not that patient, Right. And then three minutes, 
Like all the cars are going this way, but the light is still red. Ugh. Four minutes. Like, dude, come on. And mm. I would, you know, move my car forward <laughs> and back. <laughs> Maybe yeah. the sensor Charles will catch the me. Yeah, the yeah. the bright. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, so I'm like, back and forth, back and forth. And, um, and no, the light still stayed red. Five minutes. I said, you know what? I'm just going to take a right. And then I'm going to go around, do a little turnaround. And then I'm just going to keep, since this light is not going to turn. Well, little did I know that God had a plan as to why I needed to be there for five minutes. Mm-hmm. As soon as I got on the freeway, about about a minute into the freeway, I see a multiple car crash. Like it looked like a war zone. Mm-hmm. At least 10 vehicles. Oh, my god! Right there on 1604. Some flipped over. Some were still trying to get out of the car. I mean, it was dark. It was probably around 1130 or something like that. And I'm like, oh, my God. I mean, I'm seeing all these people. I ended up just parking and helping people get out of the cars and, you know, see if they need any help. Wow. But I thought to myself, you know what? I would have probably been here. I would have might have been dead, you know. And so we have to thank God some, uh, for these moments as well. Sometimes it's not going to go always our way, but there's a reason why. 100%. So, so you know, that's why we have to... You know, I saw a video not long ago, and it was a really cool video. I hope maybe I can share it later. It was a TikTok video where this guy is is walking, right? And he pushes a guy, right? And the guy's like, when the hell are you pushing me, right? Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, uh, somebody was messing with a TV up there, and psh, the TV falls Whoa. right where the guy was at, right? Yeah. So, in other words, this guy pushing him out of the way, uh, preventing him from being hit by smashed. this. Smashed. Yeah. Smashed. But this TV, right? And there's a little, little kid running, then he, you know, trips him. Poor little kid falls, you know, busts his mouth. But then you see a, a bus right on that street that would have killed him mm. had he not tripped him. So it, he did a lot of, there's a lot of different examples on that. And, and it's, so sometimes you just have to understand that there is a reason, right? And there's a purpose. And, and you just have to trust what's happening. Trust the journey. Trust Trust like that you're going to be able to go through that storm. You know, God is either going to prepare you to go in the storm, will be with you in the storm, or will be getting you out of the storm. Yeah. It's either or. And once you pass the storm, then there's another one. And that's his life. That's it. So there, might as well get used to it. Mm-hmm. Might as well stop complaining about it. Might as well just enjoy it if you can. You know, I know it's ultimately off. it's the key to mm-hmm. persevering, to thriving, to experiencing the true joy of life is to like stay faithful when you're going through that storm, to still have the spirit of cheer that you're talking about. Because mm-hmm. it's like to tangibly talk about it when you were sitting at that light for five minutes, if after two minutes you would have gotten impatient and had road rage and just ran the red light when there was a gap in traffic, you're in that accident. But you did what a reasonable person would do. You know, you, you waited until it was long enough that you shouldn't wait anymore. And and without any kind of like rage or impatience, you know, you went and then you were able to like help people and so see it. And it's like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. But I think that that's the temptation is to act unreasonable while we're going through conflict or um, adversity, because ultimately that's, you know, that's all that's going on. Like you said, we get through the storm. We praise God, you know, stay faithful. But ultimately, there's a, a, a beeline or a streamline through everything that you're going through in a way where you're just grateful and you're thankful. And there's this guiding force out there that's taking you to the perfect place for you. And I think that without that, I can understand how people can be like pessimistic or nihilistic if they don't, without that piece of the puzzle, life is chaotic and probably overwhelming. Yeah. A lot of unknown. Exactly. Right. But that you have when you have, that's why thank you for coming on the show and testifying and being a witness, because I think that that, that's the piece of the puzzle that makes everything worth doing, worth living, you know? Um, And, you know, I I know I have businesses and yeah, I mean, it's my goal to, to eventually have enough money so I can, you know, be financially set. Uh, But I am happy right now already without having all that money. I, I always tell people I'm already rich. I just mm-hmm. need the money. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm already wealthy. I'm already wealthy. I'm yeah. a, I just need the money. I got plenty of wealth. That's it. I like that. Money is coming. Don't worry. Uh, but you have to make sure that you're happy now, uh, yes. even if you're not perfect. Like this, I, you can look at this as half full or half empty. I look at it. You know, I still have water. You yeah. know what I mean, it's, it's half full. I don't want to lie to you. I've mm-hmm. spent a lot, a large chunk. Ch- uh, let's see, a large portion of my youth being like kind of upset that I didn't. My life wasn't where I wanted it to be. And there's a lot of anxiety and worry and fear that it'll never be like that. And 
you know, I think that you're right. I don't think I should have done that, but I think it's really easy to be young and not, maybe you have direction, but you don't have means or access and it just seems like it's too much, you know, if, but so when you're in that position of being a little bit younger and not knowing how you're going to get there, how do you think you could help someone in that position, you know, maintain that level of, I do have it now. I'm happy now. I, I don't need the money to feel happy. I think it's important for you to surround yourself with people that have gone, been there, done that, right? Uh, you have to have good mentors, good either counselors or mm-hmm. or leaders, role models, you know, uh, because at the end of the day, you're going to become who you surround yourself with. So uh, I think if you're young and inexperienced, you know, it's okay. You, you, you don't have to have all the experience. And don't be afraid of failing. Uh, of course, don't make, don't make critical failures, you know, got to calculate some of those those risk, mm-hmm. um, but if you if you uh, if you feel like um, like you're impatient and you want things to happen right away, know that it takes years for you to be able to have success. Uh, I always tell people uh, if you're going to start a business, you have to have the the farmer or the agriculture mentality. Mm-hmm. Whenever they they go and sow their seeds of tomato or whatever it is, they don't expect to have the treat tomorrow. Mm-mm. They know exactly what they're doing, so they plant the seed and they put it in the dirt or whatever the the ground, and they nu- fertilize it and put the nutrients, water it, and just be patient. Know that it's gonna come if you stay consistent, because it's all about staying consistent. It's not whether you have the best looks or talents or not. This is if you're consistent on this. If you sow the seed and you're consistent in watering it, it's gonna come. Yeah. No matter what. Yeah, you start to fall in love with the the cultivating of the seed versus it's, like just thinking about like oh I need tomatoes right now I really want tomatoes it's like you could, you could have that and it'll you'll be like a a much worse experience than you could if you're just like let go of the tomato and start to love the process of taking enjoy care of it. the process yeah. enjoy that yeah. that growth mm-hmm. moment you know don't be impatient you know I was someone that was mm-hmm. just like where's the tomato I, I want tomatoes I need tomatoes <laughs> but um when you talk about the time frame that's really what I wish that I could explain to my younger self is be like this is these things happen in five to ten years. And then there's no way you should be unhappy for five years. You got to find some kind of enjoyment in your now, you know. And it sounds like you had that even as a kid. Like you were never felt like you were in poverty. You never felt like your situation was gonna, you know, influence your mood. Well, I mean, uh, I, I when I um, unfortunately when I stepped out of church because my mom would take us religiously to church every Sunday. I stepped out of church and I became agnostic and I didn't believe in God at one point and I became a gang member and all this other stuff. Mm-hmm. There was a moment in my life where I felt empty, where I felt like, what is there to life? What is there? What else is there, right? And so I decided to move to San Antonio from Eagle Pass in search for something different, for something new, right? And luckily I was very blessed to have uh, my friend Rodolfo, right? Roro, we used to call him, and his his mother and, and father, uh invited me to their home. And then I, I was able to come here and, and stay here. And then I started going to college. I had already failed one semester in college. So I said, well, what what is it going to hurt if I try one more time, right? So I went to Palo Alto College and I did remedial, remedial courses, right? And I was able to pass with a B. And, and then the and then I, I picked up the momentum and I started going good and strong in, in, in my studies. And then it's, it's all of a sudden, never got A's in high school. I would always get B, C's in high school. The only A that I got in high school was a PE, right? Yeah. You, can't, you can't mess that up, right? Lunch. Or, the lunch, <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> but um, uh, I got A's in college. I was on the dean's honor roll. Yeah. Believe it or not, a kid like me, and I was actually a tutor of microbiology, chemistry, anatomy, physiology. I mean, somebody that barely passed high school, right? Uh, somebody that most likely would have failed, right? If I always tell people... If there's if it was that category of most likely to fail because they always have the most likely to succeed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they put whatever, right? Mm. And then the most likely to fail, Victor Valdez. That would have been me. I was probably last of my class, you know. But it doesn't matter where you are, where you finish in a, 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 in a certain season of your life. It doesn't mean that that's the end. Yeah. I mean, to me, I was first graduate from my my family and with a college degree, and so I keep on moving. I keep on going. Keep on going and. And I've had multiple businesses, and a lot of them have not succeeded, and a lot of them have failed. But you have to take it as a learning opportunity. Uh, that was that was something that didn't work. It doesn't mean that you fa- you failed. It means means that that was maybe not for you. Maybe that was not the right time, or or maybe there's something better for you. 
Yes. And so all of my businesses were outside what I am, an RN. They were remodeling, flipping houses, you know, selling insurance, selling satellites, selling cell phones. As a nurse, selling insurance, I was with Primerica Financial Services, mm -hmm. selling insurances, and I was top at all those. I, I was network marketing, selling vitamins, selling this, selling that, whatever, right? Because I had that entrepreneur spirit, and that entrepreneur spirit came from my uncle Chewy, because he he had his own bakery, and he made bread every day, and I would go help him. Well, not really. Well, help him eat the yeah, empanaditas go. that he would make. <laughs> And I was six to nine years old, and I would see how he would work. And I asked him one time, how come he just didn't work for a bakery? And he's well, because I'm making one day what I make the whole week at the bakery. I make it in one day. And I'm like, oh, wow. So I want to be an owner when I grow up. Yeah. So that's where it came up, you know. So, again, I wanted to open a McDonald's, guys. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to open a McDonald's. You wanted a franchise? I wanted a franchise of McDonald's when I was uh, 17. Uh, Rick, the manager back in the in the day, he said, "Hey, Rick, you're pretty good, man. And, you know, you should you would be a good manager, you know." Mm -hmm. And I said, "No, I want to own a McDonald's. I don't yeah. want to just be a manager, <laughs> Mr. Rick." Well, it's about two hundred fifty thousand dollars just for the franchise. Oh, so that number stayed in my mind. So when the recruiters of nursing went to high school, it says you make fifteen bucks an hour as a nurse. I'm like, okay, I can fifteen dollars an hour. Okay, that'll be four years of me working. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna become an RN. <laughs> that way I can save for $250 and open my own franchise at McDonald's. Well, I didn't know that was just the yearly fee of having the name McDonald's. Oh, my god! They even calculated the building and all this other stuff, right? The staff. Yeah. The staff all and all that. that stuff. But it was just a dream, right? And But um, I, uh, I I mean, I, I have never let go of that dream as well. One day I will own a McDonald's. Come on. One day I will own a McDonald's. Let's go. I love that. And, and, uh, and, and uh, so, you know, I, I, uh, I that's in my heart. And I, I know that even if it's just for one day, because I just say I did it. Yeah. Okay, let me sell it to somebody else. <laughs> there you they go. Can, they can flip the burgers. Yeah, yeah. There but, we go. Uh, it's one of those child dreams that I have, and it's going to happen in the future. Yes. So never be afraid. Never be afraid of where you're at. Don't look at where you're at right now. You could be down in, in a basketball game, per se. You could be down 15 points, and we have three minutes to go. You can still win. As long as the, the time is not expired. Mm -hmm. Meaning as long as you're still on this earth, you're not expired. You still have a chance. The game's still going. The game's still on. Game's so still don't going. don't think because you're losing by 20, 30 points that your life is over. No. Look at what you can do. Look at look at uh all these examples. Look at people that have been successful. What have they done? You know, they nobody has always had it made. You know, they've always struggled. Some people that are successful, they started when they were in their 60s. Look at the mm -hmm. colonel, right? The colonel that did Colonel the, Sanders. Car colonel Sanders, right? The one that did the KFC. Yeah. He was like, what, 65, 66, whatever he was? Yeah, something like that. And he's all over the world. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot, of, a lot of people, I mean, you look at Oprah, you look at a, a bunch of other uh, people that have been successful. They always were, were told no. Look at Rocky, I mean, uh, Sylvester Stallone, too, mm -hmm. you know? They they laughed at his Project Rocky movie. Like, yeah, the script. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. come on, dude. Nobody's going to go watch that movie. And yet, he built an empire. Yeah, he did it. He did it, you know. And so you can do it, too. Yes. That's the thing. I mean, no no one is is super gifted or talented to be the only ones to be able to have success. It's do you have the discipline, the love and desire, the hunger to, to do it. And... um. I, I recently was was uh, listening to to I know it was a podcast or I, I do uh, listen to pep talk. It's an application on your phone, hmm. and sometimes you know you have to choose something that is above you because the reality is that the, your why sometimes if it's you used to do it about yourself, you not might not be that excited because the reality is that if we were so excited about our lives about our bodies and ourselves, we would pay attention to what we watch, to what we listen to, to what we eat, do we exercise, who we hang around with. But uh, the reality is that we don't pay attention a lot of the times. Mm -hmm. But if you have a baby, a little baby, you're going to be protecting that baby. You want nothing to bother it or hurt it, yeah. right? So you want to choose something outside you as your why, your mom, uh, your parents, right, your your your, your children, uh, and that gives you that motivation to go. Sometimes choose something above you. Mm -hmm. uh, for but but then learn then to love yourself too, because if you don't learn to love yourself, then what's the point of building an empire? And then you're gonna die at sixty. 
Mm-hmm. It doesn't make sense. So you also have to have that that mindset that you got to take care of yourself as well. Oh, yeah, I believe that 100%. I guess that's kind of a nice segue. I guess speaking about taking care of yourself, are you? do you also uh, dabble with your own Nutri Drips or what, what's like, are you do them yourself or like what's your go-to drip? So we have uh, one that is called Feel Life Plus and the Feel Life Plus is basically the one that contains all of the vitamins that we have on our menu. Um, and the uh, Feel Life has the vitamin C, B12, B12356, mineral blend, amino blend, uh, also has biotin to make your yourself look younger, right? Hmm. Um, I'm actually 54 years old, and a lot oh, of people think, "Wow, you look great! You look pr- pretty good for 54, yeah, right?" Awesome. Let's go. And uh, so, but I mean, uh, I do um, uh, take care of my skin as well. I mean, I'm using actually, I'm I'm buying some Herbalife uh, skin products, and and uh, they're definitely uh, my staff is like, "Wow, you look younger." Like they're noticing. How long has that been? Or how long have we been for about that? a month? It's okay, consist- consistently. Wow. Yeah, and then I, when I do my drip, I also do the the biotin mm. and the glutathione. Glutathione again, it'll detoxify your body. The radicals, yeah. The free, get rid of the free radicals. So, uh, and the other thing is that I tell people like you also have to have your heart at peace. That's going to be a very important thing too because you could he- eat all your vitamins and minerals and. Be all good and exercise, but if you hate people, you have grudges and you have, you know, pain in your heart stress. and stress and all that stuff. I mean, you're gonna be unhappy and you're gonna show it on your face. Yeah. So you yeah. have to be uh, forgiving. People are gonna offend you and be ready to forgive. People are gonna hurt you and be ready to forgive. Uh, don't don't take vengeance, right? Because vengeance is is bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think we all have that experience where like, oh, he did that to me. I'm going to do this. And we've all gone through that. We've all done it. But then it doesn't give you the peace that you really need it or want it. You know, so it's better to say, you know what? I forgive him. I forgive her. Or if you see, if you have stress, get excited. Uh, use that stress as fuel instead of it burning you. Use You burn it. Mm-hmm. Use it as fuel. And that way it can take you to another to another level. So it's a combination of a lot of things that I think... Uh, that we have to to do, but the Feel Life Plus, I do it once a month, and uh, it you you will feel the difference um, right away. Uh, hopefully, we can get an opportunity to give you guys a drip on. It's, it'll be on us. Appreciate that. That'd we, be awesome. So much. Yeah, come on down and, do and we'll 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 give you a drip. I mean, maybe you want to have your little cameras there. And, yeah, you know, we'll, hey, content. we can do it. Hey, we can do it right we'll, here. We'll do it. Doing your podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> really cool. Yeah, how, get, how long does it take? Typically? It takes about thirty minutes. Depends on how much volume you want. Okay, but between. Uh, 35 minutes to an hour and 15 minutes total time depends on what exactly you want. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and so, yeah, we have a nice lounge. Up, uh, Avenue Trudeau has a nice lounge there. And and I did, didn't want to forget that uh, we do have a special for your audience, uh, and it's uh, $50 off. Uh, so all nice. they have to do is go to uh, our Ivy Nutri Drip uh, Instagram, Instagram and comment, you know, uh, MJ38, right? Yeah, MJ38 it. Productions. That's all they got to do. We're gonna enter them into a raffle, and they'll win uh, also a free. They're gonna bring a free drip. Hey, okay, so it's a hundred and seventy five dollar drip for free. Uh, all they gotta do is go to Instagram and put in their. Is there a post on there they gotta comment on? Um, all they gotta do is is like it, and we we'll, we'll, we'll do a post. Yeah, there you go. I'll probably do a picture with you guys and perfect, post it, and then they can comment on that. Yeah, so perfect. We do that, but also we we are um, giving a, a fifty dollar. Off for any uh, anybody else that didn't win, uh, the just free one for mentioning the uh, your 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 name of your company. Cool, that's awesome. Yeah, man. so we will give them fifty dollars, and we also you know for those that want to lose weight, we have a bundle. It's a weight uh, weight loss bundle, and it's three hundred fifty dollars, and basically it includes a drip and and uh, I believe it's four uh, lipomino shots, and those are all to help build uh, or boost your immune, uh, metabolism mm. to burn fat. And also a B12 shot. I think it's about four of those that you will get as well. Uh, we have already testimonials of people that have been on it for about a month and they've lost significant weight. Uh, and so, but again, you have to be consistent. Yeah. So this is about discipline. This is about you getting a new good nutrition in your body. Um, it's called the IV Nutri-Slim. And, or if the NutriFit, we have two of them. Uh, but that's that's a good a good trip to have to boost your immune system, 
your metabolism, give you the energy that you need, and that way you can um, go to the gym, yeah. go, go, go take a walk. But also, um, uh, there's one of them uh, that also will help crave the appetite. So that way you don't need a whole lot, you know. So all those things in combination will help you lose the weight. Yes. And so yeah. Monday, we're going to start this weight loss bundle. If you want more information, just go to our website, uh, ivynutridrip.com or the IV Nutridrip I, I Instagram yeah. account, and there'll, there'll be information there. Of course, they can always call us at 210-426-8306. Talk to Rosie. She'll take care of you. Talk to Angie. Uh, she'll give you more information on this. So we're really excited. I think there's going to be a, a, a prize. Whoever wins is going to get something. I didn't get a chance to actually read all that details, but I know there's going to be a prize. Yeah, it's like a weight loss challenge? It's a weight loss challenge. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's wow. going to be for only 10 people, I think. Oh, okay. I think we have two more slots available. Nice. So I know you guys don't need it because you, like, <laughs> you look pretty fit. <laughs> Do our best. <laughs> Do our best, man. It's a never-ending struggle. Yeah, but... Cool. That's awesome, man. Yeah, that's amazing. I love that. And you said it was all, all the information was also on your website? Yeah, we have ivynutridrip.com. And what's, so that, what's that Instagram again? It's ivynutridrip. At ivynutridrip. Just ivynutridrip. That's Instagram. Sweet. And there will be an MJ38 post. We're that... going to put an MJ38 post on it. We'll take a picture and then we'll we'll put it on the website and just they can they can go in there and just – Comment on it. Comment, awesome. comment their name. Yeah, like and comment. Like and comment and or something like that. that we'll follow, in. like and comment. There it is. And follow, there, like, that'll comment. be the entry. We'll probably do it like um, mid-next week is when we'll do the drawing. Sweet. So, Perfect, dude. That's awesome. And we'll send it to you guys so you can promote it on your website. Yeah, I'll be telling yeah, everybody. So it's yeah. a winner. Okay? It's a win-win-win, man. That's awesome. That's awesome, man. I guess was there – I guess we're, we're we're nearing about an hour now. We could probably start winding it down. Was there anything off the top of your head you wanted to ask, or anything you wanted to ask, or talk about, or mention? Yeah, any more any new promotions besides the NutriSlim that people should know about with I, IV NutriDrip? Um. Well, I I know the the the, the thing that we have right now is the uh, well we do have memberships. We have memberships. Oh, cool. Um, and they're listed on on our website. And so basically a membership is is somebody that says, you know what, I'm going to do this consistently for every month or every two weeks or every week. Uh, we have different varieties of drips. Uh, and then they stay consistent. And and because they're being consistent, we give them a, sp- a price reduction of the regular price. Yeah. For instance, the Fuel Life Plus would be $225. Mm-hmm. But in a membership rate, it'll be $175. And so forth. Every drip yeah. will be discounted significantly, right? And add-ons uh, normally would be um, thirty-five dollars, uh, and then with your member, it's only twenty-five dollars. So add-on will be like, let's say your drip didn't contain vitamin C, you want to add a vitamin C, it'll be just twenty-five bucks more. Oh, cool! Nice. So you you can add vitamins into it. And yeah, you, you can customize your own drip. Yeah, I was I was going through the the pamphlet as well, and I saw that the you had multiple options. Multiple options, it was super cool. Uh, you, I mean, like again, uh, we have vitamin C, vitamin uh, B complex, the glutathione. What's the most popular? I think the Feel Life Plus is one of the most popular because that one contains almost everything except biotin and gl- glutathione. Okay, but they could always just, just add, add it, on. it in. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the one that people like the most. I think that's what we call the hangover one. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> that's like when I think about the IV drip, I remember that's yeah. like my first association with it. I had yeah. a couple of buddies in college or I have, yeah. a, or I have a, one, of, one, of my, one of my best friends, he's he's a doctor and he went through med- medical school and all that stuff. But I think it was him mentioning that he had buddies in his medical medical college that would like go drinking and then like the next morning they would do a drip to help relieve the hangover. And I was like, oh, that's that's a thing? That was like probably 10 years ago. Yeah, no, and and, and uh, there was a gentleman, I forgot his name, I'm sorry, uh, there in Vegas and also another one in, in Florida that they came up with with this uh, idea of just doing it at a location or at, their, at your comfort of your home because a lot of these people that were over drinking, right, uh, or drank, you know, to the point that they felt it the next day. Yeah. Uh, they, uh, they they didn't feel well, and they were going to the ER, and the ER would then sell them a bill for two, three thousand dollars, <sighs> and all they got is an IV yeah. vitamin bag, right, for three thousand bucks, right. And so, this guy decided, why we do, can we just do it at, at a clinic setting, right, and charge four hundred dollars. That's what they were starting charging back in the day. Now I think the price range is about two hundred dollars. 
two to three hundred dollars depends on what drip you want. But we have some that are one twenty five. Oh, nice. On a on a membership level, one twenty five. I mean, sorry, ninety nine dollars on a membership level. Hey. So it's not bad. I mean, yeah. it's hundred bucks. I mean, you go to a restaurant, you're gonna spend ninety nine dollars on a steak and, and mashed potatoes. And, you know? and the tip. <laughs> and, a, and the tip and everything yeah, else. Yeah. And, you no, know, I, and now the tips are not like. Ten percent, like be- before, not like they start at eighteen percent, twenty two percent, twenty five percent. Who knows? 25. Tips will be more expensive in the future than the actual meal, right? <laughs> but you know, so we, we're grateful for the service. I mean, no, no wrong with that. Uh, I always tip more than twenty percent. Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, I think it comes back. Yeah, it, it comes. Back it comes back around. It comes back. Yeah, for sure. But uh, so yeah, I mean, uh, uh, those are the specials that we have. We have a membership. Uh, we do also have customer appreciation uh, month or day. Every month, and so people can come and get their regular drip at a very, very discounted, discounted rate. rate. Cool. And we have uh, mimosas and hey. some, some uh, refreshments and you know hors d'oeuvres or whatever appetizers, and they come and eat. And uh, we have a good time. You know, we have music there, and uh, some of them they'll come and also get it. You know, they'll they'll come and get a drip. They don't have to necessarily come and get it. They can get a drip. They can come in fellowship with us a little bit there, and yeah, we well, have a good time. Well, so. network. Network, yeah. So, but we, we we love our our clients and and definitely we're grateful for every single one of them. We we definitely appreciate them and 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 they come back because they feel like they're part of something important mm. and and they are. Uh, we definitely want their well being. You know, we want to make sure that they make changes in their lives so that way they can live longer. Right. Uh, I think I heard Zig Ziglar. And I'm I'm sorry if I I misquoted him. It might have been somebody else, but I heard it on a on a cassette tape way back in the day. I had a cassette tape, and I was hearing that he's like, he said, if you had a pig that was a movie star, movie star pig, right? And we've had those, right? We have had animals that are movie stars. Yeah, Wilbur, yeah, yeah. Lassie, Lassie, whatever, right? <laughs> Wilbur. What, 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 Wilbur, is, I think. Is that the the uh, the pig? That's the movie with the pig. Yeah, the pig? Okay. it's Wilbur. Wilbur. How well would you take care of that little animal? Right. I mean, you would feed it the best foods. Mm-hmm. You would give it nice showers, right? Clothe them correctly. Make sure they got the rest. Protect them at all different sites and angles, right? Probably the best mud in the life in the world, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Custom made mud. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Gucci mud. <laughs> Gucci mud. <laughs> Gucci mud. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Gucci mud. <laughs> but yeah. you know, he, he he kept on going, right? Is you would and then would you take care of it? Yes. If it was making you millions of dollars a year, would you wouldn't you take care of it? I go, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then he goes like, well, then how come you're not taking care of yourselves? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, like, poof, like a couple of snaps yeah. right there, right? <laughs> so in other words, we need to start taking care of ourselves. You yeah. want to live longer? Take care of yourself. You got to. I mean, uh, I, I did have a friend that sent me a a video <laughs> of uh, of people that don't take care of themselves at all. They live long, but but. There's one in a million, right? That that probably they smoke and probably they drink all their lives and probably live long, but not everybody is the same genetics. Hundred percent. So I mean, I think if you do the right thing and take care of your mind, soul, body, and spirit, I think you'll have a chance of living longer. And if you don't live long, at least you live good for as many years as you had. Yeah, and yeah. that's the main thing. It doesn't matter how long you live. It's that's like, it. Yeah. Uh, did you accomplish your purpose and mission on this earth? That's really what's at. Mm-hmm. You know, look at Jesus Christ. He's like 33 years 33. old. 33. That's it. That's all he needed, and he's still impacting lives Boom. today. Sure. Forever, bro. So, no, I definitely thank you guys for the invite. Yes, thank you for joining us, man. Yeah, that Absolute was a pleasure. That was great. That was a, yeah. one, one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah, that was. Hey, so one final question before we take off. What does it look like for you the next six to 18 months? Six to 18 months. What's next for you guys? Where are you headed? Other than getting a van so that we can go mobile with yeah. the actual, the NutriDrip. I mean. Yeah, before the full-time acting career takes off. So, yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> so with IV NutriDrip, you know, we, we definitely are looking into doing uh, companies, uh, I mean, uh, like teams, sports teams. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. So awesome. the, Spurs, like Spurs, the Spurs, the Lobos or whatever, uh, or the Brahmas, whatever. The, the... Brahmas, you know, the Roadrunners, you know, mm-hmm. whoever, whatever teams that, that are allowed to get drips. We want to be that company, and they will be um, safe with us because we have the highest standards that anybody else has out there. Yeah, and and there will be multiple sticks. It will be one stick, you mm-hmm. know. Uh, and also, we're looking at doing more events. There's a lot of tournaments that happen, like basketball tournaments, softball tournaments. We did a softball tournament 
uh, a few months ago, and there was like we did fifty five drips. People were dying there, playing in the hot sun. Yeah, right? or like marathons and stuff marathons. like that. Marathons. We we have a lot of different events coming up. We're going to be on the beer. Uh, beer fest event. Oh, per- coming th- up there you go. In a couple of a couple of weeks. <laughs> nice. You're good to go. <laughs> so yeah, we did it last Drink year. Drink away. We did, did it last last uh, year, and we actually uh, got the honor of using uh, Grupo Signos uh, bus. We had partnered with them, and we were doing their drips, and we were able to borrow their bus. And people were coming in the uh, AC uh, environment, right yeah. from being out in the sun drinking. Understand that alcohol is a diuretic, and diuretic is one, um, chemical is gonna make you pee more than what you should. So it, it'll de- that's Dehydrate why you feel you. bad yeah. so that because you're dehydrated. Sure enough, some of these people were like dying, like <laughs> coming like, oh, I need a drip. You know, <laughs> so we would drip them and man, you would see their faces from like death to life. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. right away. It's amazing. So <laughs> 30 we, minutes. Yeah, in, in less than an hour, they were mm-hmm. back back on the road. I mean, we didn't recommend for them to go back drinking, but most likely we them, went back out there and drank. You like know? round two, baby. Round two, baby. I'm good. <laughs> I haven't drank that at all. I mean, you to cure my cure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we, we actually um, we have we do have a, a events. Uh, the event that we had last uh, two Saturdays ago it was a sip and drip. Okay. A sip and drip event. So that one they would sip a little mimosa and and get a drip. But yeah, I mean, if you're if you're uh, a party uh, animal per se, right? You like to party out there. Uh, if you want to do a an IV party, we could definitely set up group rate. So that way you can, you know, enjoy your, your time. Yeah, bachelor party. Bachelor parties. Mm, wake uh, up, get back to the golf course. Weddings, whatever, whatever you guys uh, they need. We can definitely prepare, give a very, very special rate and since it's a group rate. And that way people can not get sick, you know, because the worst thing you can do is go to a party, go to an event, and then feel horrible the next day. Yeah. You know, that's going to take time from work, from your family, from things that you'd like to do. So a drip is going to at least maintain uh, maintain you and get you uh, to a level where you're not gonna get depleted energy wise. Yeah. So the energy uh, we call it Vaynergy, <laughs> and it's it's, uh, it's copyrighted nice. already. <laughs> nice. So can't it. steal that one. Va- can't, can't steal that can't one. Steal that one. It's Vaynergy, baby. <laughs> Vaynergy through uh, energy through your vein. So, but again, thank you so That's much, awesome, guys. Man. Appreciate you yes. guys. I mean, there's. Pleasure to have it's you. It's been a pleasure. I got to get back out there and work, but uh, yeah, bro, I love and, that. And uh, we're gonna go actually go through a drip downtown right now. Excellent. Awesome. Yeah, we have we have different uh, famous lawyers here in San Antonio that uh, uses our services. Famous uh, sports celebrities, you know. I didn't want to ask, but Valuable. I didn't want. Yeah, obviously, I'm sure you can't list any names, but yeah, unfortunately, off we the can't, air. But but yeah, off <laughs> the air, yeah, but uh, yeah, we have uh, drip several uh, boxers that come along and and. Um, like the Tejano artists that come in along and mm-hmm. uh, movie stars and stuff like that. They come in and drip with us and, and they feel good. They feel comfortable because uh, we've been doing this for a long time. You know, you can guarantee yourself that you're going to be well taken care of. Yeah. And we have the knowledge and experience and expertise and skills to be able to make sure you have a really good, good moment. It's awesome, man. Okay. Whenever anybody wants to come and, and visit us at Avenue to Rip, they can come do so, 4400 South Piedras Drive, Suite 243, and we can give you a little tour. You don't have to necessarily come and get a drip, but just come check it out. Come check out the uh, the lounge. It's a very relaxing environment uh, where it's a me time. A lot mm-hmm. of people come in, they get the drip, they fall asleep, or they watch something on their on the TV, or yeah. we actually have some nice background music there for they can they can relax. Just relax. Awesome. Yeah. And then you also are do you you go to the houses as well, like a mobile service as well? We do mobile services. Let's go. It's a little bit more. I mean yeah, of for course. the travel fee. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, we could definitely go to their home and do it right there at the comfort of the home. Love so that, cool, that I mean people that know they're gonna go party, they'll call me, I'll go to their hotel and then I'll give them the drip and then they go party all night and I don't know what happens after that. I guess yeah. <laughs> do you, I guess you do it I guess we'll, we're, we can go for another two hours. We'll, yeah. say, we'll, say. <laughs> we'll have to get you back on sometime soon, I hope. Yeah. But, Victor, man, thank you for your time. Thank you for your expertise. Thank you for your testimony. And um, also, thank you for the giveaway to our viewers yes, again, and for the um, raffle. And anybody that uh, listens to your podcast and uh, goes to our Ivy Nutridrip uh, website, uh, I'm sorry, the Instagram, the social, yeah. uh, they they post on the post that we'll do here in a little bit. Yeah. Uh, we'll be entered in a raffle. We'll probably be raffling next Wednesday. Sweet. Uh, so we can have enough time to kind of go look through all the comments. Yes, yeah, perfect. And then, but also anybody that mentions uh, your your podcast, NJ Thirty Eight Productions, mm-hmm. uh, we'll give them a fifty dollar discount. Discount from their regardless. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah, man. So you can't lose. They you can't, can't lose. Enter the awesome. raffle. You can't yep. lose, man. 
Yep. That's ivnutridrip.com, yep. and then also at ivnutridrip for the socials. The social media. All that yep. stuff. So, yeah, we have, uh, let's see here. Yeah, at Ivy Nutri Drip, and uh, I think that's what we had here. So we, we we're pretty much uh, good to go. And again, thank you so much, uh, Justin and and Matthew. Thank you so much. No problem, problem man. Today, Pleasure's man. ours for Seriously. sure. Thank you so much, man, for your time. Appreciate you all. We're and, gonna be and, and signing thank you, off. Yeah, thank you everybody that's listening. Uh, we appreciate you guys out there. So appreciate that. Absolutely, I love it. Cool. Have a good rest of your life. We'll see you on the flip. We'll see you on the next episode. Come and drip with us. Come drip. We dripping. <laughs> We're dripping, baby. Peace. Rolling through the city to the light, y'all. Really ain't no telling where we might.